If that's new to YouTube, you may enjoy the page coming to you live, live on YouTube. I have a big amount of support. You know, if you're a fan, like I said, I like to, you know, try to keep my bodybuilding content. And if you're a fan, you would like to hear this. This is some great news. As a, as a fan and also just not bodybuilding in general, but also as mostly female bodybuilding. As you know, Jake Woods and uh, uh, Wings of Strength has been growing strong. Um, this coming on season, there's more shows added to the uh, female bodybuilding lineup. But also, another big endeavor that just happened is that, you know, Jake Woods, along with Ring of Strength, has purchased the right to the um, Muscle and Fitness magazine publications and also to the Joe Weider Mr. Olympia weekend. Now, you know, Mr. O has been one of the biggest um, events in um, bodybuilding for, for many years. And um, as in this coming um, September, uh, female bodybuilders returning to the O in 2020. The first time in almost uh, six years since the last Miss O back in 2014. Now, the American media, LC, announced the sale of Mr. Olympia and Muscle Fitness. And not just counting Muscle Fitness, that's also Flex and also Muscle Hers or, or other publications under Muscle Fitness brand. Now, yesterday, uh, February the 14th of 2020, it's a landmark deal that American Media um, today announced that it reached an agreement on the sale of the iconic Joe Weider's Olympia Fitness and Performance Weekend, as well as the Muscle Fitness, Flex, and uh, Muscle Fitness Hers media brands. Now, um, American Media bought the company out around 2003. I think that was about a time when, um, as you know, uh, the Weider brothers had both passed, I think. Uh, ben passed. Ben Weider passed around about. I think I'm not sure what, what year, but he he's been gone before his brother Joe died, and I think I believe the family probably sold the rights to it because you know, you know, most times like most times most, most companies, if some like certain people, the head that ran it don't have it anymore in control of it, the family would sell it because you know I think only person left of the Weider family really is uh, Joe's wife um, Betty, and I think uh, Ben has a son. But anyway, the family just sold the rights to it a long time ago, you know, probably for money or whatever else. But anyway, back to this. The prestigious Olympia weekend held annually in Las Vegas is home to one of the global fitness industry signature consumer trade shows while serving the world championships of several professional physique sports, including the legendary title of Mr. O. The sale event media assessed marks the uh, latest acquisition by Jake Wood, an Arizona-based fitness industry insider whose growing um, portfolio includes digital media and event properties. The motivation for acquiring the, media, the Olympia is bring, to bring the event back to the fans, explains Wood. It's a dream come true to take ownership of some of, of the fitness industry's most celebrated brands, our ability to also acquire a media portfolio that includes muscle fitness, allows to reach one of the largest fitness-minded audience in the world. This is a great day for everyone who shares passion for fitness, nutrition, training, and bodybuilding lifestyle. Now, um, the announcement was made that Dan um, Solomon, who hired in 2018 to oversee the overall Olympia property, has arranged to a five-year contract extension that will serve as president and COO, COO under the new ownership. Now, that's the chief Olympia officer. In addition to his oversight of the Olympia, but someone will also manage the integration and strategy for a newly acquired media portfolio, including a Muslim fitness. Now, this is a great day. I mean, you know, I say again, this is a great day for um, both fans of bodybuilding and um, of, you know, the Olympia. And what this also says to us as fans of female bodybuilding that, that Jake Wood is going to probably push more for the opportunity for female bodybuilding to get back into, you know, as you know, it's going to be back in Olympia, but also get a place back in the magazines. Now, as you know, back in the day, if you fought, read the old most fitness magazines and flex, you know, female bodybuilding used to be in the cover, they used to have, you know, stories in there, they used to have, um, they used to be, uh, like, I think, in you know, um, flex used to have a Mr. O Corner. Where um, whoever was Mr. O that year, they do a little talk about the training and everything like that. And also, Miss, Miss Olympia used to have her own little corner too, you know. But in the last few years, since um, the IFBB has kind of pushed out female bodybuilding, you don't see not too many female bodybuilding um, 
uh, stuff, content, or magazines or publications in the magazines anymore. You don't even have female bodybuilders on the cover. Most times, it's mostly guys or guys with uh, fitness chicks or just sometimes just a fitness chick. But it's been a long time since I remember seeing a uh, muscle fitness or even a flex magazine with a female bodybuilder on the cover. And I think this is one thing, I think Jake Wood probably going to, you know, put that back in. I think he's, as you know, he's a big fan of female bodybuilding. And I know he's going to really give opportunity for female bodybuilders to be on the cover or be inside of the muscle fitness and flex and even muscle hers magazines. And that's a great thing, you know. And that's a great thing for the sport. I think that gives it more support, you know, because it's been taking a lot of beating for a long time. It's been six years, almost six years since um, the last Mr. Olympia at the old weekend. And, you know, it's been a long time since you've, you've if you, I don't, I, pretty much I stopped buying the Flex and Muscle, Mag, Muscle uh, Fitness magazines because they stopped carrying the women inside. They all got a few fitness chicks, but no real female bodybuilders. You know, even not even, I don't think they have any physiques, but, you know, as you know, the magazines, the magazines get a little smaller now because, you know, more people go to the internet to read the magazines. That's a great thing for um, Jake Wood. He is the man. I mean, as you know, um, Weed Street has added some more shows to the uh, um, bodybuilding season. And it's just, he's doing it big. And, and it's a great thing to see something like that, as you know, the return of Miss, Miss Olympia back to Olympia weekend. And probably also the return of female bodybuilder and the covers of Muscle Fitness and Flex. So I'd like to congratulate you again, Jake Wood for being a stand-up guy and being always there for, for the women being a bodybuilder. This is me, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, subscribe. I'm out.